with CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky. Now, one of the things that, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, is that Omicron doesn't care whether you've had this before. Like, if, if you've had Delta or if you've had the Alpha variant of this, that it doesn't offer you uh, uh, immunization against uh, the Omicron variant. Um, does Omicron, do we know if Omicron cares whether you've had Omicron before? We don't know that yet. Because um, people uh, talk about yeah. doing like, well, if it's less severe, why don't we have chicken pox parties? <laughs> and everybody just get together and we'll have a kissing booth and everybody gets Omicron. We don't get that sick and now we're all done. Right. <laughs> it, it's as a doctor, you recommend that as <laughs> No, I do not recommend that approach. I okay. definitely don't. Here's what we know. We know that if you're vaccinated, you are 17 times less likely to be in the hospital than if you're unvaccinated. And if you're boosted, and if you're uh, vaccinated, you're 20 times less likely to die than if you're unvaccinated. Vaccinations work. We also think that prior infections prevent you some from getting disease with Omicron. Um, but it's probably the case that being pre previously infected with Delta or even Alpha or Wild type may not protect you as much against Omicron. We do think that Omicron might protect you more against Delta, um, and therefore that suggests that Omicron may protect you more against Omicron. Sorry. That's a lot, that's, <laughs> that's a lot of conditional words in there. May, kind of, sort of, <laughs> iffy. Okay. Uh, uh, the, 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 the big CDC news, and we talked about it in the monologue, was the fact that y'all have now gone from recommending a 10-day isolation to a 5-day isolation. Why the change? Um, we know, based on two years of experience now with this virus, that the vast majority of your transmissibility happens in the day or two before you get symptoms and the two to three days afterwards. So probably about 80 to 90 percent of all your transmissibility has happened in those first five days. Mm -hmm. And we really want people to be sure if they're going to be home, they're home for the right period of time when they're maximally transmissible. And by transmissibility, do you mean that the actual uh, virus in you is uh, goes to sleep or you're just not producing much of it anymore like what do you mean by the transmissibility goes down you still have it in you why aren't you giving you have it the to burden me? the burden oh the burden the amount the, of it the, the amount of virus and the amount of virus that you could potentially you know aerosolize put out in droplets cough around to others so that's that the most of that happens in those first two days before before you have symptoms in two to three days after. So by day five, we actually really think that most of that transmissibility is behind you. In the UK, they, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, but the UK, they went from 10 to seven days, but they are also requiring or recommending a negative test before considering yourself out of quarantine or isolation. Are we going to do that here? Because Dr. Fauci on uh, CNN and ABC suggested that that's under consideration. Is he talking out both sides of his mouth over there and you'd like to tell him just uh, put a cork in it, Tony? <laughs> never. <laughs> never. This deepest is your chance. This is your chance right now. <laughs> would never say that. You would never say <laughs> deepest that. Deepest respect for Well, Dr. obviously, Fauci. <laughs> obviously, yes. Um, you know, the really important question the FDA has authorized these tests, and they're terrific tests for what they've authorized for. So the FDA has authorized them for diagnosis. And what they've said about these tests is they're best used for diagnosis earlier in the disease course. So my Are these like, is it the antigen, the rapid antigen The test? rapid antigen test, okay. exactly. So if you have access to a test, and if you want to do a test at day five, and if your symptoms are gone and you're feeling well, then go ahead and do that test. But here's what, how I would interpret that test. If it's positive, stay home for another five days. Mm. If it's negative, I would say you still really need to wear a mask. You still may have some transmissibility ahead of you. You still should probably not visit grandma. Mm. You shouldn't get on an airplane. And you should still be pretty careful when you're with other people by wearing a mask all the time. If I were to get COVID and uh, isolated for five days, when, when could I come back and do my show again? <laughs> um, well, I would say, um, are you feeling better? Uh, yes, let's say I'm feeling better. Your symptoms are gone. Yes, after um, five days. Then I would say you would want to wear a mask all the time. Even on stage doing the monologue? Yeah, even on stage doing the monologue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> ten days. <laughs> ten days, ten days. Well, there you go. Well, I gave it a shot. I gave it a shot. I've got no plans. I just want to know now from the horse's mouth. Uh, we have to take one more break here, but stick around, everybody. When we come back, I will ask the doctor about restoring public trust in the CDC.